Hello everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Earthbound. In this episode, we are going to retrieve Paula. She will finally become a member of the party again. So, I'm going to show off how to teleport here. We're going to go to Foreside. And, oh! <laughs> That's not what's supposed to happen. Okay, I've never tried to teleport before. That was my very first attempt. You gotta cut me a little break there. Uh, let's face this way, yeah. Try this one more time. Just don't touch anything. Run in a straight line. That works. Alright, and whoa, we run out in the middle of the park. Hello? I don't get it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's actually true. Monotone did go in and out of that cafe. We've been there before. So, it's time for us to take out this guy, Monotoli, because as the alien slime in the department store t tried to tell us, that's where Paula is. So let's go upstairs. Hello? This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. <laughs> that's that line about the hips again. Oh, so weird. Still can't figure out why the elevator is empty when that cutscene comes by, but okay. That's fine with me. Whatever. Ugh, dude, don't be yawning. S wait, wait a minute, did I miss something? I think I did. I'm supposed to not have the yogurt dispenser anymore. I can't go in there. Hmm. Well, wait a minute, where's the... Hmm, where's the person who wants the yogurt? Ugh. It's you! Ah, oh, right here by the department store. Just outside the building. What? You have a yogurt dispenser? May I have it? Before you could answer, she took the dispenser. Now I can make crop flavored yogurt for my guests. You're so kind, I'll make some for you. My room's on the 48th floor, don't forget to drop by. Yes. 48th floor, don't forget to drop by. <laughs> okay, player, here's what you need to do next in this game. We're making it very clear for you. Yeah. So, let's try this again. I'm gonna stare at this lady's hips as we go up the elevator. Look at those pixels. My. It's interesting that when the sprites are facing away from you, they have one foot up in the air, so they're stuck in a walking animation. You see how her right foot is... you can see the sole of her shoe? That's weird. If she were just standing there, you wouldn't be able to see that. Let's see, it's kind of... sometimes their feet are down, sometimes they're not, I think. Or maybe not, maybe they always stop looking the same way. Meh, whatever. This elevator... Wow. Shh, quiet, aren't you, Ness? I'm Mr. Monotole's maid, Electra. Or no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not even reading what it says. Seriously? Oh, goodness. Jeez. Yeah, basically we're going up to the top floor. This is Mr. Monotole's private office. Or at least his office space is up here. There's all kinds of stuff. This is basically a little dungeon area. Secret code, please. Say your code in ten seconds. Um... I did a one, two, three, four, five, six? Uh, password? Uh, oh, I never can guess these things. Yeah, Sentry Robot blocked the way. I believe you just want to, you're just going to want to use physical attacks on this guy. Oh, well, that's going to work pretty well if you get a smash attack. Yep, that was easy. The smash attack just kind of did that for us. Uh, you, don't worry, you'll get to see the enemy again, so that didn't totally ruin it for you. You go up in here, and there's nothing. You'll come right back out that door you just, uh, next to the one you went in. It's in here. Grown! Oh my. Yeah, they all are, will say this code line, so you just have to sit through it. That's all. There's nothing you can actually do to stop them from attacking you. They're just enemies but that say things before they fight you. That's all there is to it. There's not actually any code involved. A bottle rocket? That's not cool. Oh, at least it only hit one of us. I figured it would have been a uh, party-wide attack. If I can finish this guy off before... Yeah, that'd be great. So it only did about 80 damage instead of the 120 that it actually was going to deal had I given it enough time to do that. <laughs> oh my. I don't think I want to go into any, either of those. Hello? Secret code. I suppose I could have avoided him with the number of desks in this place, but these robots are not very uh, hard to defeat and they're worth a couple thousand experience, so why not? Called for help and no one showed up. Haha. Uh -huh. You have no allies. Oh, we don't miss. Then made it bad a lot. <laughs> Missed again. 111 damage to Trev. Yeah, we're gonna need to 
fix that. So I'll go ahead and attack, and then we'll heal Trev. Wish I had been a little bit quicker about that, because if the beam had, if the guy had uh, attacked a little bit sooner, he could have killed Trev, and that would have been bad. We're going to definitely want him to be here with us later. There you go, that'll finish him off. Good work. Alright. Good stuff. Now, I want to check something real quick to make sure we still have it. We do, okay, good. I was confirming that Trev had the shield killer, and he does. Because you will need it in this part of the game. So I should have said that sooner, but yes. Make sure you have the shield killer. Turn back if you don't. Let's look over here first. Secret code. Oh, he's not going to get a back attack on us, is he? I hope not. I was pushing down. I, just, I don't know if I got there soon enough. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and use our life up ability here. Recover about 100. Uh, health for each of us. Wow, I just totally blanked on the word. I couldn't remember the word health. Really weird. I assume that door goes back to the room we were just in. What's over here? Oh, hello. It's the maid. Your trout flavored yogurt, sir. I've got the trout yogurt. <laughs> Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something the other day and said, This is fit for a maid. That's that doesn't sound very cool. I think Pokey's an asshole. He really is. And he's got a really weird upside down face. Ugh. I don't have to look at him, I really don't. I just ugh. Pokey is a real hateable character. I mean there's very few of those in video games, but you've got like I can think of one right away, Mercer from Dead Space. You really learn to hate that character. Like, I think that was the first time I used the F word in an LP was with that guy. And that's how bad he is. He just... Oh, man. But yeah, that is neither hide here nor there. Hide nor hair. Oh, don't call for help. That is a cheap strategy. I wish we could just clone the characters that we play with. It's like, Trev called for help. Oh, another Trev appeared. That would be great. You could just do that for Ness, and do that three times, and just have four Nesses in the party. That would be pretty good, actually. I think Ness is pretty much your best character, so... There we go. Alright, we'll take out both of them. They're not going to take us down. 5,000 experience each. There must be a big gap between the levels now, because we're a uh, sudden guts pill. It's too much stuff already. Man, I don't care. Well, am I going the wrong way here? I kind of seem to have hit a dead end. Hmm. What am I missing here? Maybe I need to go left in that one area. Let's see. Ugh, I can't get behind the desk. Why are all these empty desks in here? What is this stuff doing here? This way, perhaps? Go to one of these doors? I think this is going to be back down, isn't it? No, it's different. Hello. Ping! Clankity, clankity. Rattle, rattle, roar! Squeak, tweet, tweet, clank! Okay. The clumsy robot blocked the way. I should have healed before this. Oh boy. Okay, that's alright, because we need to use uh, a shield killer on him anyway. I'm going to use beta on Ness. I'm going to use the shield killer. Reapplied a bandage. Oh, that's neat. Yes, because he has a PSI shield, and if you try to uh, use PSI on him, It'll reflect back at you, so watch out. Fired a missile. 290! Oh my god. Um, I need to heal. Oh, crap. Go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, come on. Oh wait, he's not dying? What am I doing? Wow, he must have a lot of HP if that didn't kill him. That was 200 some damage, and Ness withstood it. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna go slow here, because I don't want, uh... We got anything I can throw at him? I bought some bottle rockets, and that's good. Got a neutralizer. I don't know what that does. You guys will let me know about that? Hmm. I wonder if I can make him lose turns with a slime generator. I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna use the bottle rocket. Higher health's back up. We're good to go. Stumbled and fired a strange beam. He's pretty tough, so... You're just gonna have to try to take his shield down and then hit him with everything you've got. And it didn't work. I suspect that it will usually work, and that was a fluke for both of those. So we'll just try again. He cleaned the area. It didn't work again. Man. That's crazy. He's immune! Uh, seriously? What? 
Okay, you bash him, and you do this sh do the shield killer again, because I, I feel it's like almost like he's still got a shield. That's really weird. It didn't work. Yeah, okay. And he dodges. Wow, this guy is nasty. Um, well, I don't know what the neutralizer will do. Let's try it. Guess we'll find out. The effects of PSI. Oh, he gets rid of everything. All right. That's okay, I guess. Maybe I should spy on him. Let's at least figure out what's going on here. Offense, defense. Well, that's all I get? He's not weak to anything? Ooh, oh boy. Um, I'm not sure using a shield would be a good idea here. I think I should just go with the offense, because I really feel like that that uh, power is supposed to work on him, but... <laughs> Maybe if he was a pencil, we could just erase him. That would be great. I have nothing to fire at him. I have to just shoot at him. That's our basic gun. 300... Oh, boy. Um, That's bad. Trev's gonna die. I don't have time, because this animation lasts so dang long. I'm not even gonna waste a turn trying to heal him, because I don't think I'll be able to get to him. Yeah, forget it. Whoop, sorry, Trev. Maybe his guts will bring him back. Uh, have I got anything I could fire at him here? Well, this might actually be good. To use a cup of life noodles on him. Bloop! Yep, he got hurt and collapsed. And let's use the cup of life noodles! And Trevor survived. Now you get to watch his HP tick all the way back up. That's fun. Okay, let's go ahead and put in this first attack, I suppose. What else have we got here? The handbag strap makes an enemy stop moving. I wonder if it'll work on this guy. Oh well, I might as well use it. It's not like I'm gonna save it for another boss. <laughs> I don't ever remember that I have these items anyway. Trev's body solidified. Watch out! No, the handbag strap didn't work. Dang! That stinks. This guy is really tough. Clean the area. Yeah, sometimes he doesn't attack at all. It's really weird. And other times, he comes out with these big moves. There you go, 135 damage. I knew he was—I knew he wasn't immune to it. But now we're out of uh, out of luck. I really should have saved more for recovery, but oh well. Ate a bologna sandwich. Oh, it maxed out its HP. Yeah, I actually read about that on a guide. The HP. That bologna sandwich doesn't actually restore his HP at all. It's just a... It's a trick, essentially. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> the clumsy robot is wobbly. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this game really has a, a certain character to it that other games just haven't really come close to. Well, that's not entirely true. I think Banjo-Kazooie has a really unique... Was that more damage to Trev? I hope not, because he's going to die if it is. I don't have anything for him to eat. Um, oh boy. The yogurt! Eat the yogurt! No, I gave it to the wrong person! Oh, I'm so dumb! <laughs> Wait a minute, he didn't even die. Dude, what a letdown. Come on. Seriously, Trev? Dude. Alright, um... Man, this is tough. I guess I should use that caramel. It's the only way that Trev's gonna be able to make it through if I... Oh, he's got a brain food lunch. Let's eat that. Give it to the right person this time. Don't hit Trev, don't hit Trev, don't hit Trev. Heal, eat it, eat it. Oh, you're going to... Mm -hmm, uh. Hurry up, hurry up. You gotta heal yourself before you die. Ugh, jeez. This isn't looking good. And I could waste another item and bring Trev back if I wanted to, but... Ah, oh, if I'm gonna do that, I should wait until my HP goes back up. This guy is tough. You're gonna need some help if we're gonna take this guy out. So I didn't, I didn't bring enough items with me or anything. That's, a, that's enough, I suppose. 250 some. Go ahead and do it. Stumbled and fired a strange beam. Trevor survived. Yeah, now we get to watch his HP go up. Isn't this fun? Ugh, I wish he would like throw lightning attacks at me or something. That would be great. I'd love it if he did that right now. I only got up to 52 HP. Oh, I better heal him. This is going to take ages. He cleaned the area. He dodged. Jeez. This guy is really tough. <sighs> I don't know if there's much point really in letting Trev's HP go all the way back up because this robot can one-shot him anyway. So, what is there to do? This is a really long boss. I gotta tell you, this guy is nasty. Oh, come on. We're so close. I can feel it. I can feel it. He's reeling. <laughs> Ugh, dude, what's it gonna take? And that reminds me of a song, but I can't remember what song it is that it reminds me of. 
It's so weird. It's a. Uh... It's that song by Aerosmith. All of a sudden, some guys rush into the room. It was the Runaway Five. Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch and it stopped. <laughs> what a loser robot! It was so easy to stop. That was quick thinking. The clumsy robot stopped moving. Oh. Why couldn't have we? Why couldn't have we done that? Nice. Level up. Pretty crappy ones, but still. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? We don't have any money. We are strong, however. We'd like to pay you back. I'll help you whatever way we can. I thought I heard a girl's voice. Oh, dude, that's Paula. Get out of the way. Gotta get in there and get her back. You. Stop. That's enough. Please stop. I give up. I really do. Whoa. <laughs> this bear won't attack you. He's stuffed. Yeah, like me if you're eating that dinner. That was a lot of food. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Monty Monty statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula's a nice girl. <sighs> Paula, return to Ness. I'm sorry I created so much trouble for you. Ness! You finally made it here! I'm fine. I believe you'd come and save me. Mr. Monotoli isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. You telling me that you two were just hanging out here, like, making cupcakes or something? Seriously? <sighs> I'll tell you everything. The money my statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic image. Stop, Ness, and do so by your own hand. Or, don't let them go to Summers. Or, make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully, fully understand these messages, but obviously someone doesn't want you to go to Summers. Eagle Gigas or something. I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers. Especially, especially because they don't want you to make it there. No, I don't want to hear the whole story again. Hell no, Favor. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to the heliport. Wow, you're actually being pretty helpful now. Why did you put the bear in front of the door? Oh, it's a sea. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you must go on, Ness. This is your destiny. It's time we said goodbye. Ugh, thank God we have three party members again. Just Ness and Trev. Uh, it's sort of a. It's like a lopsided party. There's not enough PSI representation. Nice helicopter. Um, uh, what? It's sticking up on its own. Are we doing that? What? I guess not. We're looking at it like, what the hell? Where's it going? Oh, it says Heli on the side. Not creative. Oh! It's that upside down face, asshole. Ness, you pinheaded idiot! You're just a half step too slow. I'm getting out of here. Since Monotoli has become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're the world class loser. I'll screw you. Get out of here, Pokey. Ugh. Dang. Well, I suppose in the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound, the three of us will once again go searching out into the wilderness to uh, try and accomplish things. Whoop, what's going on here? I think Paula has something to say. Or what? Hmm, has some kind of vision. I was a little dizzy, but I'm okay now. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Yep, somehow I know that's where we must go. Alright. So, in the next episode of... Dude! Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bed. <laughs> you want to get to Threed as soon as possible? We can take you to Threed in our tour bus! I'll just get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. So the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound, we are going to get on the Runaway 5 tour bus, go back to the street, and find our way to Summers. See you guys then.